Okay, here we are with Edmodo. Some of the first things that we're going to learn here, there will be a second Edmodo with more tips and tricks later. Uh, sign in page, so if you already have an account, sign in here. If not, choose to sign up and just email me to get the school code. Um, I'll be our site administrator, so anytime you need a school code for Edmodo, just let me know. Um, once you log into Edmodo, you're going to arrive at your landing page. Ignore the admin part. Uh, I get that on mine because I'm our site administrator, so if there's something wacky that happens inside Edmodo, let me know. But from your landing page, you can do a note, an alert, an assignment, a quiz, or a poll, or this brand new snapshot, which I'm sure you've seen email about, which is supposed to help facilitate some understanding with Common Core, which we're not doing anymore. On the left-hand side are all the different groups that you participate in. And uh, one of the things is a, as an old teacher that you will uh, want to do is, is get into your group and delete that group, okay, because you don't need that information anymore. We don't archive any of the grades from grades from this anymore. It's uh, strictly not needed material. So click on the settings, click on delete group, and, and once you click on delete group, it'll ask, are you sure you just simply say yes? Okay, so I've got a couple groups in here I'm going to delete real quick uh, in case you missed the steps the first time around. Um, the other group is my uh, pre-AP pre-calc class. So again, hit the little gearbox. Once you're in there, go to your group settings, choose to delete. It's that simple. Um, we, you just don't need last year's uh, information. Now, if there's cool links that you have from last year, you'll want to put those in your library. Then we're going to add a group, and in order to add a group, you just click the little plus sign inside the groups. Go ahead and choose the demographics for what your group is going to do, and uh, complete one last step, which is group size. Finish that bad boy, and you're ready to go. And now you've got a group code. The group code is what your students need in order to join your group on Edmodo, and uh, you want to get them going on the first couple of days of school. So I'm creating a couple of groups real quick for the upcoming school year. Uh, and, and just to give you another shot to see how it's done. If you teach a specific grade, you can leave it as that specific grade. Uh, I teach a range of grades, which is why there's a range of grades. Okay. Uh, once you have all of this completed, um, if you will <coughs> want to add a... Um, if you want to add a co-teacher, like you're in a class where a co-teacher is with you, once you create your class, give your code to your teacher, type your, type your teacher's name in here, and they will pop up as a student. Once they've popped up as a student, you can click on them and give them co-teach rights. So I want to try and find a spot here where I can show you how to uh, add a co-teacher. So bear with me just a second. Let me find a group I've created. Here we go. Okay, watch this. Uh, I'd like Christina to be the co-teacher co in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on members. I'm going to search through the members. I'm going to type in the person that I want to co-teach. And right there under more is the co-teach option. Click it, and they can now co-teach, which means they have editing rights. They can add, subtract, or whatever to any of the material that's inside of this group. Now you can send a note super easy. If you want to send a note to your entire group, click the note tab, type in what you want to send to them no matter what it might be like we're using books tomorrow or or bring your project we're going to double check those click send it's out there an alert it's like a twitter blast it's an instant message sort of a thing uh, with a one-way message from you to them if you don't want them to forget something send this the assignment is super handy you can create assignment which populates a calendar just give your assignment a name click a due date and then give a short description of what your assignment is. Once you're done with that, you have the opportunity to lock the assignment after its due date, which means nobody else can submit it. Choose your course and submit it that way. Okay, so uh, really, really cool stuff. You can also send quizzes, you can do polls, and, and all of this will show up on your group's landing page once students log into and choose your group. Okay. Um, so it's, it's really, really neat. And if you co-teach, anybody that you have listed as a co-teacher can also uh, create and share notes in your group. Lastly, if there's another teacher that you've connected with across the hemispheres, you can uh, create a note and send to them through Edmodo as well, and it keeps track of everything in there. Here's your teacher profile page. It's, this is what people see when they look for you on Edmodo. Um, 
and and you can dress that up and make it as cool as you like as well. Now, this is Edmodo 101. Edmodo 102 is coming later.